There we go. Explaining the differences between a Mark I chopper and a Mark II chopper. Should look something like that. And don't forget the Mark III. Oops. So the Mark III made around about 2004. That's what it should look like. The Mark II, made in 1974, August. And the Mark I, pub date of 1971, in May. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do you tell the difference, Russ? How do you tell the difference between a Mark I and a Mark II? Well, apart from studying the pictures now, and the fact that a lot of parts can be swapped from one to the other, or well, that can be swapped to that. A lot of the parts are interchangeable. But there's one surefire way of knowing which is a Mark I. And if you look at this down here, you will see one. If you see that number one, backwards one, so that is a Mark I, rear hub. Now on the two, we've got number two. See? So that's a surefire way of knowing. Even if parts have been swapped over, normally, if you see that, that's a Mark II. And that's an obvious difference between a Mark I and a Mark II chopper. Now, I'll hand you over to my assistant, Luke. Now for some of you, some of you now, if you've only tuned in just to just to find out the difference between a one and two, go away now because that's it. That's all there is to it. The difference between a mark one and a mark two. But for some of you who might want to stay tuned, might want to know why did they change that bike into that one in such a short space of time? Well I'll explain. This bike here, because of what I've said earlier, the fulcrum point is there, which makes the bike very, very unstable and easy to tip over. That, very easy to tip over. So, they put, they put the kink in it, they put the kink in, in the Mark II, to make it more difficult to pull over. Now they also shorten the length of that seat band because what was happening, two, two children could get on that saddle and because of this the whole lot could tip over and the kid on the back unfortunately would bang his head on the floor. Very dangerous. Something else they've done, they've narrowed glass on the Mark II because what would normally happen, the bike would tip up, you'd bang your head, and this would swing round and catch you in the ribs for good measure. So the Mark II was modified for safety reasons. They also altered this on the Mark II because as a young paper boy that I used to be, you can imagine what could happen. <laughs> Chipping off that. So there we go. So that's why they basically that's the base, very basic way they've changed. But it should help you if you're out in the marketplace for a rally chopper to help you realise which bike is which. Because a lot of people ask me this. Now, if Luke wants to uh, come in on the shot. Now uh, Luke, you, we get, Luke's going to go on to the Mark III. Now the Mark III, as Luke is demonstrating, my grandson Luke, was a horror really of health and safety gone mad. They'd done away with the gear stick, they split the seat. Now this was put on the back of the Mark II as well 
looks like a parcel shelf and indeed it is but it's to break the fall if Luke was to fall over backwards it's to prevent that obviously it's got the kink in the back for its aluminium body it's a lot lighter uh, made around about 2004 like I say um, and that's as you can see the generations quite a dangerous bike uh, the Mark II with the shorter seat and the kink and the parcel shelf and the narrower the narrower handlebars and then you go on to this which is a lot lighter it's got all the safety features on it but it's health and safety uh, that's, that's the effect he has I suppose safer world and all that and uh, there you go so I hope that helps anybody watching so they know the differences between a Mark II and a Mark I. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. Hello world. Say bye Luke. Bye.